Hey up everybody, Magpan1901 here, and welcome to DSX Mankind Divided. This is my um, first play of the game, so it's like first play, first impression sort of video. So yeah, let's see what it's all about. Yeah, which one do I want to do? Give me a story. You play games for their story and experience, not for their challenge or competitiveness. Enjoy the DSX experience. Give me a challenge. You enjoy a good story and a good challenge. This is how the game is meant to be played. Give me DSX. Hardened enemies and tougher situations will make your experience it quite challenging. And give you a good adrenaline rush. Blah, blah. I'm going to go for give me a challenge. Best of both worlds. You can enjoy DSX Mankind Divided as a standalone experience, which you can you can also relive the events of DSX Human Revolution, which took place two years prior by watching a 12 minute recap video. Do you want to watch the recap video now? No. I kinda don't really care what happened in the game before. I always like a good intro. This looks like polished. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit, Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. Considering this game is set in 2029, that plane looks really old. Never mind. It's a very husky voice. I have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the How's his glasses sticking to his head? His team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower. One of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. Yeah, look at that for a haircut. It's not. He's selling weapons and military grade augments to terrorists. This is Iran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle the buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Is Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half well, finished high rise. We'll have a little bit of JD while not much is happening. Since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one except uh, nice. the junkies have been inside the place ever since. What's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level. A halfway decent elevator shaft. No, I think yeah. there's different types of way that you can play this game you can play either stealthily or all guns blazing or a mix of both and i'm not a great stealth fan never have been i've always been a bit more um 
gun ho straight in there, straight to the action, guns blazing. So, well, there. I'm not leaving the six exports. Give me something lethal. Yeah, let's go lethal. Give me something lethal. Your call, but Singh's under covering all this. So watch him from his sights. What about range? There's lots Will of white spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. In, I'm gonna go for distance weapon combat rifle. A revolver's a bit too, um, well, a bit too close range for me. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromised. My call again. Way. One last thing, Jensen. Sing said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable. Keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the gin out of that atrium. Got to say, this graphics engine is good. The skin looks really, really, really detailed. It's called the Dawn engine. And so far, so good. Here we go, Dubai 2029. Well, Dubai's come on a little bit, hasn't it? Well, parts of it did look a bit, a bit tatty. Woohee! Gotta love a good skydive. Mm, superhero landing. Number of employees, 12,567. Right, here we go, we have control. Seal off access to the atrium, secondary jam the signal booster. Wow, that's really fast acceleration on the mouse there. I think we're uh, going to have to slow that down a little bit. Got 37 seven on that. No, it's still really, really fast. Control schemes. Try this mouse again. Sensitivity is really, really high. I'm going to bring it down to about 20%. See if that has any uh, better effect. No, it's still really fast, but never mind. We'll uh, do our best with it. It's very detailed. Do like the detail that there is in this. Construction worker. Credit chip. Triangle code. Use the DSX Universe phone app to scan this triangle code. Okay, what's that all about? In game triangle codes. 
Right, okie dokie. I'll have to download the app then, I suppose. I'll do that in a bit. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? The Jennifer and <laughs> Jenny's up and running. Gonna have to hack keypads. You should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. <laughs> so, pocket secretary. I was working on the fancy, fancy system when we lost power stuck in here, but I think that means they can't get at me. They're killing everyone, they started screaming and attacking anything that moved. Where are you? If you can make it up to the storage area on the roof, it's caged in, you should be safe. They might even have medical supplies. Door code 4801. Hmm. It's nice to know. Search them? No, I thought you might be able to search through them for stuff. Can't go in the portal. Hold space and move forward to grab a higher ledge. Press B to open augmentation wheel. To equip smart vision, press middle mouse button to assign it and exit the augmentation wheel. Ooh. That's pretty cool. We don't have anything for us. Credit pickup. Nothing in that one. I do apologise if this seems a little bit jerky, but it's really, really hard. The acceleration, I can see why they're saying that there's problems. It's so bloody fast. I have turned it right down and it's not mid much of a difference at all. Cool. I like that. Is there anything in here worth taking? Breaker. To use that for something or other. Have another look around now, make sure we're not missing anything. That'll be what the brick is useful, but that's cool up here as well. Is there anything up here? No, I don't look like it. Restore power to the keypad. Ooh, that's not looking good. Is 
Let's see, four eight or one one eight. No. Okay, we're going to hack. How do I hack? Use the mouse to navigate between the modules. I have absolutely no idea how to do this. No idea what I'm doing here. Access granted. Cool. Okay. Kind of get it. I kind of remember from the previous game, but it was. A little hard to access the part of my brain that remembers from about three years ago. Ooh, here we go. Follow the green holograms to receive tutorial instructions about various game mechanics. Experiment without consequences. You can reset or exit at any time. Learn about moving to cover, cover swapping, rounding corners, vaulting over cover and transitioning from cover to first person. Let's do the tutorial mode and then we know what we're doing for the rest of the game then. Press space. Okay, maybe I should reset. No, maybe I should just shoot him. I can't remember how I went into cover. How did I go into cover? Ah, balls to it. Yeah, I lost some painkillers. Got some bullets. Bullets. That's quite a lot of game to um, search around. I suppose it could take quite a while checking out all the nook and crannies in the game. It is really detailed. Though. I do like it a lot. Movement's not so. No, it feels a little bit like I'm walking through Jammer. Let's have a look over here, see what there is. Anything over here? Hmm. Go back this way then. Plenty of dead workers around. Four, eight, oh, one. Cool. At least it saves them and you don't have to try and remember them. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. <laughs> we shall open. Oh, got a pistol. Nice. Cool. Uh, 
hyperstim injector. One of those. Whatever that does. We do not know. Not right now. Okay, that was cool. That's some good stuff there. Uh, Madeline. Wrong one, get off. There we go. Let's call the elevator and. Uh, Jesus, it's a bit sandy. Current floor, rooftops. Let's go to the penthouse. Grab a drink of JD. I did say drink then, didn't I? Instead of drink. Okay, tutorial I'm gonna follow. Okay, we'll try this tutorial mode again. I didn't really understand it before. Press F4 to activate the glass shield cloaking augmentation. Cool. Do quite like that. You're sleeping. You're dead now. You dead. You dead, motherfucker. Do you want to exit? Uh, yeah, exit. It's a fairly short, meaningless. Um, And I'm just going to take no notice of it. <laughs> okay, so doing the tutorials and completing them and then it puts you back where you began so that you can do what you've just learnt. Of which I did completely the opposite and just did as I pleased. Never mind. Trying to find me. Come find me then. Where did he go? He's in there now. Oh, bloody hell. He died quick. Whoops. Okay. Maybe not as easy as I thought it might be. Let's try that again.
McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's tilled a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been from the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Stick your head out. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> Fairly sure I just bent somebody. Right, go back this way, see if I can get the Ooh, bloody hell. They're hitting me through the event. That's not good. Oh no, I'm burning myself. I thought the nade would have gone down the side there. Yeah, as you can see, stealth just isn't the way I like to do things. I just like to get in there and get shit done. Although I'm not getting it done very well at the moment. <laughs> but, never mind. So the little battery in the corner is how long I have left before my um, invisibility runs out. Maybe I didn't want to drink a beer right now, but never mind. <laughs> no one drank. Daily newspaper. Jensen, watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can disable it. Roger that. Looking for it, mate. Don't worry. If I found it, it will be disabled. But we've got to find it first. Your implanted rebreath for augmentation prevents gas damage. Awesome. And I didn't even need to buy that, build it, or anything. I just had it anyway. That's cool.
Low health. I'm not doing too well here, am I? To let that health come back up a little bit first. Ah, what am I doing? Wrong button. Okay, load from last save. We'll give it another go. Oh, all the way from here. Oh, what a headshot. Maximum effort. Sure, there was another one on here somewhere. I can't remember where. Jensen, watch your twenty. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the gin's communications booster. If you can disable it. Roger that. Wrong place to pop out of, right? See if we can find this receiver, it's got to be in here somewhere. Or repeater, or whatever they want to call it. Very quiet. Don't make a sound. We 
can't see me if it's closed. <laughs> Moving on to the primary target. I got an ebook, Tales of the Arabian Front. Lovely. I don't think I'm going to stand and read that right now, though. You can see how you could play this game in a really stealthy mode though. It would be very, very good to do, but not for me because I hate stealth. Can't stand stealth. I don't know why it doesn't, it just doesn't, doesn't, it never has appealed to me. I remember when I played the first Splinter Cell game and I was just like, yawn, I can't do this. I really didn't enjoy playing it at all. Just something about them just doesn't don't appeal to me. Never has done. Probably Jets, never will. If it doesn't burn out. What's your twenty? Still moving. Well hurry the fuck up. Enemy helos inbound and this sandstorm's getting close. You get that comms booster disabled? Firm now. Booster's fried. So maybe the tin man does have a heart after all. Way to look out for your team. Creedy out. Well, you know, I like to do what I can. Here we go, we're gonna have to do this ha whole hacking thing again. So, the idea is to get to the green. Access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. All right, strike force. Position and hold. Strike one. In position. Strike two. All set. Strike three. Yeah. Strike four. In position and holding, boss. Eyes up. Safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, brown nose. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you shut up. Mm. Five in position. There's my mate Jerry asking if the game's any good. He'll have to wait though. I shall tell him soon. Sing's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. I'm liking it, it's just that mouse acceleration. Jesus, there has to be a way to slow that down a bit more. It's unreal. You got ball, Sing. Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. How biblical. Are these the weapons? Ooh, look at him. Funky prosthetics. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash quick and we'll... Oh, what the... <laughs> cool. Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller. This isn't Shit's the going sideways, that's what's it's going on down the there. Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up! Free. Make it a grab for the chopper, you got a shot? 
Negative, negative. We're under heavy fire down here. We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen. Okay. It's gonna be my job to stop it. Let's do it. Seal off the atrium. Can't even see the chopper. It's better. We've took his Duracell out. He ain't going nowhere. Whoa, that was close. You're welcome. What a shot. That's a funky mask. Shit. Uh oh. Whoa. It's proper sandstorm this one. Bit of a flashback, I think. Artificial eyes to prosthetic limbs. From molecular sized computers. Human controlled evolution available to all. You will merge with machines. With computers. The Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you. No, stop! And plan. Scenes of horror on the streets of Detroit. Madness has gripped mechanically augmented people. Shanghai, Los Angeles. I won't let it happen again. Cool. Quite enjoyed that. 